Hollywood, the only place you might be contractually obligated to make out with your ex after a bad breakup. And even better, you have to act like you're loving every single second. Awkward.com. So today we are counting down the top five Hollywood couples who headed to Splitsville in real life, but they still had to keep working together. At number five is Darina, as in Dan and Serena from Gossip Girl, as in Blake Lively and Penn Badgley in real life. How could we ever forget the first time we saw Lonely Boy spying on Serena at the train station? That said, we weren't too surprised when life imitated art and this pair took its love to the real world. Looks like we finally found common ground. Aww. However, all good things must come to an end, as did this pair's real life romance. They broke up in 2010 after three years together. And you know what happened after that? Well, Blake Lively started dating and got engaged to Ryan Reynolds. Yeah! And then, well, Blake and Penn's characters, Dan and Serena, oh, no big deal. They got married on the series finale of Gossip Girl. Talk about awkward. But according to Penn, they were total professionals. So are they still friends? Well, not so much. Penn said he didn't get her a wedding gift. No five-star restaurants, no town car. Moving on to number four is a couple that's still living out their love via the small screen, despite the fact that they called it quits last year. We've got Nina Dobrev and Ian Somerhalder. The couple who met on the set of their hit show, The Vampire Diaries, tried to resist their urges for a real-life relationship, but alas, they caved into their romantic desires, and then they went on to date for three years. Uh. Uh, uh. And then, just as their characters Damon and Elena broke up in TV land, this pair broke up in real life. But guess what? Oh yeah, they are still forced to make out and sometimes do even more on TVD. But it's all good in the hood for these two awesome people. They even publicly poked fun at the situation at this year's People's Choice Awards. This is crazy. Can you believe this is almost five years in the making? You're right, yeah. But you know, I think what's crazier though, Ian, is that at the beginning of the show, Elena actually hated Damon. You were hooking up with my brother. Well, you killed my brother. Then eventually she fell in love with me. And then we started dating on the show. We started dating in real life. And then we broke up in real life. And yet our characters are still dating on the show. It's a good thing it's not awkward. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing we have chemistry. <laughs> These two win the award for best exes hands down. Okay, at number three is a relationship that's best described as complicated, and we're gonna mix things up and move from acting romances to musical chemistry turned love. Right now, we're talking Paramore's very own Haley Williams and her former band member and beau, Josh Farrow. Haley and Josh are believed to have dated from about 2004 to 2007, and the breakup was supposedly behind the band canceling tour dates in 2007. But they stayed together as bandmates in Paramore through 2010, and that is when Mayhem pretty much broke loose and Josh posted a blog basically saying the band was manufactured and a product of the record label, adding that the bandmates were simply, quote, riding on the coattails of Haley's dream. Haley said that the day the blog came out was the worst day of her life, so I think it's safe to say they probably don't really do barbecues or hang out anymore. Plus, Josh started a new band, he got married, and Haley is still killing it with Paramore, and she has got a man of her own, Chad Gilbert from Newfound Glory. In the runner-up spot at number two is a couple whose breakup it pretty much rocked the world. I'm seriously, it did rock the world. It's Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson. These two made dreams come true by taking their Bella, Edward, Twilight Saga romance into real life. And come on, who can blame them? They were cast as a couple because they obviously have the hots for each other, right? This doesn't work. I trust you. Aww. Well, after years of dating, we all know the story. Kristen was photographed kissing her Snow White and the Huntsman director, Rupert Sanders. She and Rob broke up. Twilight fans started fully freaking out, wondering what would this mean for the final Breaking Dawn premiere. And then, even tragedy could not keep them apart. They got back together. Yeah! They walked to the carpet together at the Breaking Dawn part two premiere and appeared more in love than ever until after all was said and done, 
they broke up again. All right, we have finally arrived at our top spot, but before we reveal our number one couple, here are a few others you may have forgotten about. We've got TV co-stars galore, Jennifer Carpenter and Michael C. Hall, Joshua Jackson and Katie Holmes, Michael Vartan and Jennifer Garner, Johnny Galecki and Kaylee Cuoco, and Adam Brody and Rachel Bilson. And a major shout out to Gwen Stefani and her ex-BF and fellow No Doubt rocker Tony Canal, who broke up years and years and years ago, and they still keep on serving up some of the best music out there. Okay, time for number one, and perhaps the most professional working pair of all time. We've got Chad Michael Murray and Sophia Bush. Not only did these two date after hooking up on the hit show One Tree Hill, they actually got married and then, very unfortunately, five months later, they divorced. I was afraid of getting my heart broken again. Like before. And then they went on to appear on several more seasons of the hit show together. How someone does that, I'll never know. Now, not only that, Chad went on to start dating crew member Kenzie Dalton and ended up proposing to her before his divorce from Sophia was even finalized. Now, to be fair, Sophia ended up having a long-term relationship with another One Tree Hill alum, Austin Nichols. And as I mentioned, Sophia and Chad went on to work together through season seven when Chad left the show, which honestly might just be the most professional accomplishment of all. Yay! Wow, so there you have it, guys. I want to know, was there a couple on our list that you forgot about? Or maybe there's a pair that you're still hoping will get back together. Hit the comment section to weigh in and click right on over here to see another top five that will blow your mind. We are talking couples you forgot ever existed. Believe me, it is awesome. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Jocelyn Davis at Clever TV headquarters. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.